directed by Sean Levy and was dropped on Netflix about a week a week ago now um, on March 11th. So um, I'm gonna be doing a one minute review as promised. I finally finished the movie, um, and th that kind of will preclude to what uh, my thoughts are on this thing. But yeah, so let's, I got one minute on the clock over there, and I'm gonna talk about the Adam Project. Uh, I did not have high hopes for this movie really at all. I, I did when I found out that Sean Levy was directing it because he just directed Free Guy, and if you guys remember from my review, I really liked Free Guy. Um, didn't love it. I still gave it a B. But it's, in my opinion, it's still a pretty positive grade. Anyway, so The Atom Project, not that great. Pretty forgettable. Uh, the dialogue and story really just dismantle any and all enjoyment I had for this movie. Um, the, the kid was really obnoxious and actually didn't feel like he needed to be in the movie whatsoever. The movie didn't know what it wanted to be, but also had kind of no tone whatsoever throughout the entire film. Um, Mark Ruffalo is in this movie for about 20 minutes, and he is atrociously bad. Ryan Reynolds is just doing his Ryan Reynolds thing. And the, the lady that plays the villain also is just one of the worst performances I think I've ever seen in a, like a mainstream action movie like this. It is. It is Pacific Rim Uprising levels of bad when when her she's on screen. And even this movie is kind of Pacific Rim Uprising level bad when it's bad. But when it's good, it's actually pretty decent. I really enjoyed the action. I thought it was really creative and like really entertaining and I, I like Ryan Reynolds he's starting to great on my nerves a little bit I watched the Red Notice last year and like I don't know I'm, I'm really starting to get sick of him but and this movie he doesn't save it whatsoever there are some entertaining moments and it's not like the worst movie I've ever seen I know I've, I've been saying that a lot recently but um yeah it, it, it is it's not it's just kind of just a plainly mediocre to bad movie like this is not a good movie. It, it, it very much is not, but it also isn't terrible. I'm not going to say, um, eh, it's like a D minus. This thing's fucking awful. Cause it's not. The Adam project has its moments. And I think Sean Levy is responsible for that. I think his, um, his, uh, style is, comes through in this movie. Um, and the bad parts of that and the good parts of that combine to make a really mediocre experience. So I'm going to give the Adam project a light C um, it, it was fine enough. Like it was, it was just really forgettable. I'm not going to really remember this movie when it comes to like your endless season. I, I, I don't think it'll make my worst list. 2022, I'll say this about it. It's way more interesting to follow than 2021 was just because every movie in 2021, uh, the movies I, I, that I'm predicting in my head, 2021 is going to be a better year for film in general. We're going to see that on my top 10 list. You're going to see that, you, you did see that with my top 10 worst list, which is just filled with nothing. But honestly, um, it, it's a lot more fun to cover years where stuff is phenomenal and stuff is really bad. Because I just, I like having strong opinions about things. And, uh, I don't know, bad movies are fun to watch. And this one really wasn't, but, eh, still. Adam Project was, was lame, I'm going to say that. It was, it was just kind of lame. It, it wasn't that great. So... Uh, that's my quick review and thought. Also, the music. The, I to almost totally forgot about that. The music in this movie is horrid. Uh, so is the cinematography. It, it, it really doesn't work and is um, going... It, it, this movie very much wants to be Guardians of the Galaxy with its music and the way the movie's shot. But Guardians of the Galaxy, it is not. So, yeah. Um, just wanted to quickly put that out there. The Adam Project, pretty forgettable. What did you guys think? Uh, let me know in the comments. I really want to know, uh, how you guys feel about this one. And, uh, yeah, I will be back with a new review of, uh, Deadwater by, uh, sometime this weekend. So, yep, I will see you guys later.